morning, YouTube. Uh, this big moving lump is Oscar. Come here. Look at, look at the people. Look. Say hi. Come here. Come here, you silly dog. And uh, we're sitting out on the couch, and uh, I'm enjoying a little Mississippi River in my country gentleman. Oscar's not a big fan of pipe smoking. Well, I mean, I got him to hold the pipe once. <laughs> but overall, he's not a big fan, right? Right? Not a big fan. So, I, I was wondering, uh, for episode... Episode 2? Whatever episode this is of Piped In, uh, I was thinking a lot about videos I've seen lately, and a lot of people are doing videos about uh, packing a pipe. And I wondered what method really works for you. I've really just kind of combined two methods that work for me very well. I've been using the, I guess the anti-gravity method, whatever you want to call it, uh, where you take the tobacco in your hand, you turn the bowl upside down, and you just kind of rub the bowl into the tobacco in your hand, and that fills it up. What I've been doing is uh, putting a small bunch in there, circling it around, filling it up, and then turning it over, and then continuing with the Frank method. And I find that works really, really well. And uh, it gets me a really good pack, perfect little plug. And next thing you know, it smokes like a charm. I don't, really don't even have to tamp it. It stays lit pretty well. It doesn't burn hot either. I think I've uh, relit this maybe once. And that's because I was watching. I was so intent on watching a movie, I stopped puffing. So it's definitely, I think that's a good combo. To try. I mean, for, for me, it's working really, really well. But there's so many different kinds of pipe packing methods, you know, three-step method, which never worked for me. Obviously, I could pack my pipe with it, but it just wasn't as good. And then I had, uh, I tried kind of like a two-step method, a pinch method, just kind of sticking the, the pipe in the bag and scraping up tobacco and just kind of, as I was pulling it through, just like tapping it from the other side, just using, poking it in there. I tried everything I could think of, the, the air pocket method, it just wasn't really working for me. And I guess the, the method that I'm using now is kind of like the air pocket method, seeing that I'm, you know, filling it up just a little bit. And uh, using the Frank method to finish it off, because that, that big packet of tobacco on top and then working it down makes a perfect plug. So, I'm glad Frank decided to share that method, because uh, that, that's, you can't beat that. German packing is where it's at. They, they, they certainly are efficient, to, to say the least. So, I just wondered, you know, what are you guys using now for pipe packing methods? I mean, is there one that works better for you? Is there something in particular, you know, a method in particular that you don't like? I mean, for me, obviously, three-step method is off the table. I'm never going to use that again. But it's always interesting to see new ways to pack your pipe and, you know, make it as enjoyable a smoke as possible. So... Hope everybody's enjoying their Tuesday. Uh, I might be back later on today with uh, with Yabo. I'm expecting... I, I won uh, Rachel's contest. Rachel, uh, a.k.a. Turtle Ray 8, um, Nate's wife. Uh, I won her contest unexpectedly. And uh, I'm expecting the, the winnings to come in uh, someday soon, probably today most likely. They told me they uh, they mentioned in their in their video that they would send it out on Saturday, and being that it's Tuesday, I assume that the the mail is not that is not that slow, and it'll probably be here today. So I'll probably be back with a, a yabo later on. So hope everybody's enjoying their day, and uh, we'll catch you a little bit later. Say bye, Oscar.